Hi Pisces, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching, and welcome to your weekly love tarot messages. So, um, these this reading here, these messages are going to be general, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you are after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed just below the video. Otherwise, let's get um, into the reading and let's see what messages the tarot guides have for you. Okay, first and foremost, for those of you that are trying to conceive, okay, I feel like the Empress is a really positive sign here, probably one of the more po positive signs that there can be. So if you're trying to conceive, um, I feel like there's good news around that situation. Um, there's also good news for fertility. So for those of you that are creatives and you're working on a project, if you want to start a project, if you want to go back to a project, um, something which um, uses your creative and artistic talents, then the Empress here is a, um, it's, you know, tap into your fertile imagination. Basically, that's what she's saying. Okay, because uh, I feel like for some of you, there is, some creative and artistic inspiration that is currently surrounding your energy. So if you've been thinking about an idea for um, a project, okay, some like for example, anything that involves your creative or artistic talents, um, the Empress is here to guide you on this journey and on the start of this journey, or even if you're going back to something, to polish it, to rework it, to redraft it, this is going to be, um, this is going to be very successful for you, okay? And you've got to, like, there's a lot of fertility here going on in your imagination here, guys. So put it to good use. Um, I'm also seeing that you've got a lot of strength in your energies now and you're regaining a lot of strength. So I, again, I don't know if it, if some of you have, um, if some of you have had an injury of some sort and the cards are, you know, they're, indicating that you're regaining strength okay you're on the way you're on the road here to recovery you're on the road to wellness um maybe some of you have been you know you've had a lot of emotional wounds that need have been festering and that needed nursing um but i feel like you're going to you're doing everything in your power here to um you know to, to get yourself back out there or to sort of even to champion your own dream here. So very strong energy. And I think that, um, I feel like you're nearing something here as well this week for a lot of you. I feel like you're crossing some sort of, um, you're, so, you're crossing some sort of finish line or you're getting there with something. Now, I don't know if this is a project or I don't know if this is something very personal and very unique to you, but you're getting there. You're almost there. You're almost crossing the finish line. So keep going. Um, what else do we have for you? I feel like the cards are inspiring healing here. So, you know, and healing is a very unique journey for um, everyone. And um, for a lot of you, I think that, um, you know, whether it's work that you do on your own or whether it's work that you do with a therapist or with a, um, another professional, um, this is something that, you know, is entirely dependent um, upon you. And for a lot of you, I think the cards are inspiring healing right now. Okay, so whether you've caught, you've got yourself caught up in a bad romance and you need to do a little bit of healing there, whether you've actually physically injured and hurt, hurt yourself, um, or whether your, you know, your spiritual body is the one that needs healing. Okay, so just remember, um, healing is a very unique and individual journey. What works for you might not necessarily work for the next person. So whether you're doing it on your own, whether you're doing it with a professional, um, you know, with a therapist of some sort, um, whatever works for you. So as long as you're responding to what it is that you're doing. But it's definitely, I feel like this is something that's very strongly in the cards for you. Um, I'm also seeing some sort of social element this week. So you might be, in, um, you might be invited to some sort of social gathering or some sort of social invitation. Um, or it could be like a potluck dinner where you might get together with a group of like-minded people because I feel like there's this element of connectedness and you're connecting, either you're connecting with energies that are your, you know, that are responding to your vibration, okay, so you're vibrationally aligning with whoever it is that you're connecting and drawing into your life, um, 
but to me it feels like it could be like networking opportunities that might be presented to you it could be that you're connecting with a romantic energy or you're you know making new connections with um, friends here but i do see that there is this something here is coming together for you in a beautiful way and it is it is and it does feel like it's a um it's something within your vibrational alignment i'm seeing this potential for something very strongly here in the cards for you um this week and i feel like in the weeks to come the potential is the name of the game but the thing is you kind of have to um you have to step into your courage okay and make the first move or make the first gesture or accept that offer um so it's like for example there's potential for you to start a new um project of some sort okay it could be a hobby it could be something that you do in your own time it could be a new work opportunity that could be potential for a new romantic playmate because you do have a lot of passionate playtime in your energies and i'll talk about that shortly but there's potential here there's potential for you to start something new for you to start maybe a heart opening connection uh, maybe a new job a new um, opportunity but okay the reason why strength has showed up here for a lot of you piscians is that you need to not screw up um in your courage okay it's gonna require this whatever this potential opportunity for you whether it's work related or whether it's love or um anything else for that matter you'll know when it show up when it will show up in your life because it will scare you and that's why it's so important that you not like you know you don't screw up your courage here and you make that first move or you respond to this opportunity you, you respond to this offer okay or you respond to this person um so courage is definitely you know asking you to take that next step towards this potential invite that invite that potential into your energy into your vibrational uh mode um now for some of you you know i've mentioned there's a lot of passionate playtime in the energies here so what this means is a lot of you could be connecting with a new romantic energy and you could be doing it real soon like as soon as this week now for some of you you already might be connected with one you might have already um you know met a um a really wonderful um romantic playmate and this person feels like a lot of fun this person feels like you know this it could you know this could very well be a heart opening connection so give it time have fun with it don't force it um everything is going well but for those of you who haven't met anyone okay or who haven't connected with anyone and even though you have been putting yourself out there um you know what i see in the cards i feel like you kind of been fishing in the same creek again and again and the problem with that is that you keep catching the same old fish okay you keep catching the same old tuna fish when what you really want to um, catch is a king shark here so what do you have to do you gotta start fishing in new turf okay so start doing something new start doing something differently fish in new turf so you know if you're on the same old dating app try something different if you know you're not on a dating app maybe give it a try so it's that kind of energy right um i'm also seeing that you have to also treat it like a serious pursuit instead of something you're just sort of you know half-heartedly doing or just half-heartedly checking it out put your soul put your vibration into it put your intention into it instead of just you know um being really casual about it um basically put your heart into your profile pisces and you're all about heart right you're all about heart so put your heart into your profile and you see how that's going to make a world of difference because i think because I, I see this passionate um this really passionate playtime coming up for a lot of you and i see a passionate playmate like a really passionate energy who's coming in towards you but you you know you have to help this person out a little by you know attracting it attracting this energy or by recognizing this energy as well um, there's some sort of buzz in the energies here for your future it's it feels like it's a very exciting buzz um, i don't know if some of you guys are working on something but i feel like there's something here that's being created it, it feels like it's sort of still behind the scenes so if you're working on a project i feel like there's a lot of promise so keep going okay don't give up because i think that's the worst thing you can do is give up um be careful okay there's a bit of a red flag here with the seven of swords a bit of a red flag might show up and i think what you really have to pay attention to is the quality of your friendships 
okay the quality of your connections some of you are surrounded by quantity rather than by quality and the thing about a Piscean is you guys have a very kind and a very generous nature and people who don't always have your best interests or who don't always have your best intentions at heart what they do is they like to surround themselves with you know Pisceans like you and what they do is they circle you guys they circle you Pisceans like you know circle you like eager sharks so be careful you've got some energy vampires around you you've got some people who you know who bring you quantity but don't bring you quality so really you know take some time to dissect and diagnose you know what are your quality relationships and which ones are quantity so focus on quality because you've got some people that are taking away from you you know and taking away from your happiness rather than adding or contributing contributing to it and i think you know that's the reason for the red flags that are popping up and that have been popping up but the same thing goes for romantic relationships for those of you that have been um fishing in the same turf or you know if you've been um if you've had relation uh, romantic relationships the same ones but with different people you need to start doing something different okay because you might be surrounding yourself with people and the problem with you guys is that whilst this is a wonderful and a very beautiful quality of yours people take you for granted you give too much of yourself away and you like to overgive and you overextend yourself and you overcommit and some people you know don't know when to stop or some people don't know when to um, give back um, so you need to be careful who you share your time with um, originality is really your creative it's like your you know it's in your sign it's your creative sign it's a part of you it's a very strong quality here so for for those of you that are at um you know artists um for those of you that are working on something there is something here and i think this is i'm gonna tie this in with that you know exciting buzz that i'm feeling in the energies there's something here that you're working on or you've been thinking about it stop thinking start doing okay you can't edit a blank page so those of you artistically inclined, creatively inclined, get going. Whatever it is, it feels original, it feels exciting, it feels fresh. Okay, so, you know, don't, don't ignore that. Um, there is, okay, there is some sort of tower moment that I feel like is being depicted this week. You could receive some, you know, unpleasant news. You could find out that, you know, some of the people that you're connected to aren't necessarily who they who you think they are or they're not you know who they say they are it just feels like and th you know this could be going back to that whole you having to take a look at your relationships how many of the relationships that you have in your life and these just don't apply to romance these can be like friends and businesses and um, you know sibling family relations um, blood relations how many of your relationships are made of quality and how many are not okay so it's time to assess and it's probably t time to start um you know trimming the fat on some of these relationships um but that could be the tower moment you potentially could find out that there is someone here someone around you someone who i feel like maybe you love or you care deeply about but unfortunately that person um might not you know have your best interests at heart or might not care as much um, you know, might not care as much as you want them to care. And it's, it's something that's heartbreaking. It's something that, you know, um, I feel like is going to be a bit of a, uh, a discovery, a shocking discovery. There may be some truths that have been hidden and will come to light. Um, but whatever this is, it's better that, you know, better an ugly truth than a pretty lie, right? Surely you'll have to agree with me. So whatever it is here, whatever that you know, whatever it is that comes out into the open, no matter how much of a you know bitter truth it might be to swallow, it's better that you know. It's better that you're aware of you know who your friends are and who your enemies are. It's just better that it's better this way, okay? Um, so whatever this towel moment, and some of you maybe you already had your towel moment. And you're like, yep, yeah, been there, done that. That's fine. Whatever comes from this tower moment is something very useful to you. So the pain that comes from this um, tower moment, that stuff right there is useful. Use it. All right, Pisceans, I'm going to leave you at that. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel. It does help if you just hit that note, um, well, the notification bell, but also hit that subscribe button if you can. Thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, please also show your support by subscribing but by liking liking commenting and sharing thanks guys